The past few videos have been talking about what makes things strong and weak in terms of their structure and ionization. But often when we're trying to describe something as acidic or basic, we want to know how much hydrogen or how much hydroxide it puts into a solution. That's what we're talking about when we're defining something as acidic or basic, which is in terms of concentration or molarity. So we'll start with strong acids and bases and then transition to weak. And since these are solutions that are aqueous in general, it's very important to understand what's happening in water. So in pure water, we have already defined it as amphoteric, meaning that it can donate and accept hydrogen ions um, depending what it's with. But even when water is with another water, hydrogen ions can be transferred back and forth. So as these billions and billions of waters bang into one another, sometimes a hydrogen is given to something by a water acting as an acid, and the water that accepts that hydrogen acts as a base, meaning that pure water can still ionize into hydronium and hydroxide ions or hydrogen and hydroxide ions. But that's an equilibrium reaction that definitely favors the left. Most of water is water molecules with a very small amount ionizing into hydronium and hydroxide. The specific K expression for that we call KW, and it has a an important and known value of one times 10 to the 14. And this is important that it's at 25 degrees Celsius. And you'll see that several times throughout here as a reminder that when we change temperature, that shifts our equilibrium and changes the K value. Not only do we get more reactants or products, but we also change the value of K. So in pure water, we have a certain amount of hydronium and a certain amount of hydroxide, and they are equal to one another because the solution is neutral. But when we put in an acid or base, that causes that equilibrium to shift, or it makes that amount of those ions unbalanced, more importantly. So when we have a lot of hydronium ions, that means more hydronium than hydroxide, that would cause this value to go up, which in um, relation would cause that to go down, Come, kind of a common ion effect. When I put in extra of an ion, the reaction shifts to keep the same K value, but that means the other thing gets used up. Since this is our KW value, if we're pure water that is neutral, that means that this hydronium is equal to hydroxide, and they're both equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 7 when we're at 25 degrees Celsius. That is neutral. Hydronium equals hydroxide. When the hydronium exceeds the hydroxide, or for our 25 degrees Celsius that we use a lot, then that means that it's more than one times 10 to the negative seventh, so a bigger value than that. That's when it becomes acidic, and basic is when the hydroxide is greater than the hydronium. So right here, this is the de definition of acidic, basic, and neutral. These values work when we're at 25 degrees Celsius and when our KW is 1 times 10 to the minute 14. But remember for the second, third, fourth time that that can shift. So the definition is those being equal. The definition of neutral does not necessarily mean the pH is 7. That's what we'll look at in the next video is pH. But at different temperatures, this reaction actually changes. And it's a very common question. To think about is this an endothermic or exothermic process? Is KW going up or down? Is pH higher or lower? You can have a neutral solution with a pH of 6.9 or 7.1, as long as hydronium equals hydroxide at that temperature. So make sure we're understanding that and that we're really familiar and really good at using this equation. We'll be applying it in the next video and in the calculations a whole bunch, but it's very simple. And unless they give you a different value and different temperature, that's the K that we're going to use. And it's very simple if we have one value to solve for the other.